Hello everyone. Today I will introduce how to generate contours in LiDAR 360. There are several methods to generate contours. Users can extract contours from point cloud data, generate contours from DEM raster data, or use a TIN file with the LITIN extension to create contours. Today I will introduce the point cloud to contour function. Select the terrain module and activate the point cloud to contour function under based on point cloud. In the pop-up window, choose the point cloud data, ensuring it is classified into ground points. Initial categories are the point cloud categories used for contour construction. Scale refers to the contour generation scale. Different scales correspond to different contour intervals. Base contour is the elevation from which contours are calculated. In the ground point, TN, triangles with a maximum edge length greater than the set threshold will not be used in contour generation. Contours can be categorized as minor contours, basic contours, and major contours, also known as half interval contours, basic contours, and thick contours. You can choose to generate these types of contours and set their spacing, color, and line width. Annotation methods generate elevation points for terrain mapping. This type of elevation points will be evenly distributed across the map. Set sampling method and distance. For contradiction notes, choose to keep, modify, or remove automatic contour annotation. This type of elevation points will be evenly generated on the contour. Set the minimum interval between adjacent annotations on the same contour. Optimization options include smoothing and simplifying contours. You can choose the smoothing method as needed or select no smooth for no smoothing. Additionally, users can set parameters for contour area and length to delete contours smaller than the set threshold. The software provides three output formats for contour files, SHP, DXF, and GPKG. Additionally, for ground points simulated in classification editor or breakline vector files, you can select terrain feature objects and import them to apply them to the terrain product. Click the default button to restore all parameters to default values. Set the output path for the contour file, click OK and wait for contour generation. That concludes our introduction to the contour generation function. Thank you for watching.